Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassis Sim Technologies. And welcome to this latest um, Chassis Sim Live Tutorial slash Dan's Vehicle Dynamics Live Tutorial today. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about one of the biggest bugbears and one of the biggest bogeymen of vehicle dynamics in the room, and that is the subject of tyre modelling. Now, when we discuss tyre modelling, we talk about uh, it's these are subjects that are guaranteed um, to make um, grown men run to the hills in sheer terror. And it's got this reputation, it's either all hocus pocus, or you need 500 degrees in rocket science um, to understand it, let alone make, uh, make use of it. Now, the whole subject of time modeling really pretty much justifies its own seminar in terms of where it comes from, the interactions of the tires, in terms of the sort of tire models that you uh, adopt, and it's no and it's no accident that um, in my book, the dynamics of the race car, tires basically constituted their own chapter. And indeed, I was very deliberate in starting the dynamics of the race car, purely talking about the racing tire, talking about the different types of tire models, whether they be empirical, which. Um, is the Pajaka, the chassis in version 3 um, tyre model, or the first principle tyre models like the brush tyre model, and for me, probably the state-of-the-art tyre model that is out there is the Michelin TAME tyre model. However, um, it's also something that um, I speak at length in the chassis in boot camps as well in terms of um, how to classify and how to quantify a um, particular um, tyre model. Now, one thing that is though overlooked, there's actually a really useful shortcut that you can use to actually help you try and quantify what the tire is doing. Is it the perfect representation of the tire? Hell no. And to be quite honest, and I've got to do the PG-13 version of this, anyone who claims that they have the perfect tire model, quite frankly, needs to be locked up for their own safety because there's no such thing as a perfect tire model. That being said, what I'm going to show you here today, ladies and gentlemen, is a great usable approximation of a tyre model that you can use for a multitude of different reasons, which is basically classifying the performance of, the, of your race car, whether it be for something like lap time simulation, for transient lap time simulation, or if you wanted to even use this to design a controller for an autonomous vehicle. What I'm about to walk you through, uh, what I'm about to walk you through is a really, really simple um, approximation of how to classify the performance of um, your tire. Is it the full story? Absolutely not. However, what it does is it gets you going so you've got something to numerically hang your hat on. So what we've got here is we've got the traction circle radius, which is a function of temperature and vertical load on the tire. That is multiplied by the normalized slip angle function, where that is normalized force, and that's found between one, uh, between plus one and minus one, and that can be either slip angle, slip ratio, or a combined um, thereof. That whole combination of, uh, that whole thing of modeling combined traction, that is a tutorial in itself that I'll cover at a later date. And lastly, that is multiplied by the camber multiplier function. Now here we've got the lateral case. Now if we were talking about the longitudinal case, it's a sort of a different animal. And this is actually one of the things that in the chassis and boot camps, um, I go into an awful lot of trouble, uh, I, I go into great depth um, into, because there are a few traps there for young players. However, here's the money shot. What we can do is a really simple approximation of your tire model is the lateral uh, uh, or longitudinal force is, in this case, we'll just do the lateral force. Fy is a function of alpha where we've combined this and this together, multiplied by the traction circle radius. Now, here's something that's even better. Now, here's something that's even a tad simpler for you. You can get an awful way down the road by having a simple polynomial function, C1 alpha minus C3 alpha cubed, multiplied by Ka1 minus Kb times Fz, all multiplied by Fz, where Fz is the vertical load on the tire. Kb is how that, coefficient, that initial coefficient of friction, or normalized coefficient of friction, drops off of load. 
That's the initial coefficient of the uh, friction of the tire. And this is a really simple approximation of the slip angle curve. It doesn't go into the same depth as, say, um, say a lookup table or a um, Pajanka model. But the great thing is, this is a really, really simple tool for you to understand your tire. And if you really, and here's the thing, on a number of different tutorials, like particularly in my tire modeling from nothing, I go to a lot of depth to discuss how you generate that curve there. Now, this dictates pretty much, um, you control, it dictates your control power, um, how much steering effort you've actually um, got to um, uh, put, uh, how much uh, steering effort you've got to put into the car. But here's the nail, ladies and gentlemen. The great thing about this is this is a very, very, very simple approximation that can carry you all the way down the road. Is it the full story? Absolutely not. However, it gets you going. Because just remember, the thing that separates engineering from other disciplines is we just don't say, oh, we feel that we'll do this. I have great confidence that we'll do this. The thing that separates, uh, the thing that separates, um, uh, the, that separates engineers is our ability to quantify. And this, ladies and, uh, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is something that's absolutely key to making that work. And make no mistake, what you're seeing here is the tire equivalent of the quarter car damper model. Now, as we know with the quarter car damper model, it's not the ultimate be all and end all of um, how, how you do damping, uh, how you do damping for a race car. However, what it does is it gives you something to hang your hat in order to be able to quantify what your dampers are doing. And this is exactly the same thing for the tire. So, at that point, let me wrap up that. Um, uh, let me wrap up this tutorial, and we will catch you in the latest. Chassis Sim video tutorial live or the latest version of Dan's Vehicle Dynamics Corner live.